Welcome and thank you for tuning in. The crisis at Liverpool Football Club continues with the Reds falling 3-2 in the fourth round of the FA Cup against Manchester United. Now, Man U came out and scored early in this match. You know, the Reds responded right away with a goal from Mo Salah. Salah's goal was set up by a brilliant pass from Bobby Firmino. I mean, the ball he played between the defenders was excellent as was uh, Salah's chipped finish with his right foot, mind you. So that was great to see him finish with his weaker foot. And with Salah scoring a brace, that should do wonders for his confidence. Yes, it's only the FA Cup, but it's still Manchester United. And much like Liverpool, Man U played a very strong team. So both teams seemed like you know they played as if they really wanted to win this match. And this is kind of a worst case scenario for Liverpool. I said in my last show that I would actually kind of like to see Jurgen Klopp mail it in in this match so the players can be fresh for Tottenham on Thursday. Now we're going to be dealing with more of the same fatigue from these players when they go up against Tottenham, which is a team that is truly fighting for the Premier League title. So with Liverpool's defensive crisis, make no mistake, it is a crisis. If Manchester United lost Vidic and Rio Ferdinand to long-term injuries, would they buy a center back? abso freaking lutely Liverpool are without Van Dijk. They're without Joe Gomez. Joel Matip cannot be counted on to stay fit. And Fabinho is clearly at his best in midfield. Fabinho crossed the line from aggressiveness into recklessness today. And Reese Williams was pretty much at fault for uh, Marcus Rashford's goal, the second goal of the match for Manchester United, but Williams does not deserve the abuse that I'm unfortunately bracing myself to witness from the plastic Liverpool supporters. That is inevitable. He is a teenager. He is still learning and developing. He was playing sixth division football last season, and he played wonderfully for Liverpool in the Champions League. So I think he has a bright future, but unfortunately, he is not ready right now. I would like to see him go out on loan. Liverpool does not need to buy a new center back. They just need to bring in one. So if it has to be a loan, so be it. But this is a defensive crisis. Make no mistake about it. Of course, there's a front three crisis as well. You know, Liverpool are still on a goalless drought if we're talking about the Premier League. But at least Liverpool put two in the back of the net today. Thiago Alcantara's influence on this game was excellent. I love the way he went out there and performed. But in terms of the guys who've been around this side who have won trophies, fatigue, burnout, complacency, those are the factors at play for Liverpool, and that's why this is a crisis. I mean, Jurgen Klopp's style of football might not be sustainable when we're talking about over years and years. At some point, you know, he'll have to adapt and not press the whole match because Liverpool were content to attack, but they could not track back and absorb Manchester United's uh, counterattacks. That's what really hurt Liverpool today. And, you know, it was infuriating to see Bruno Fernandes uh, score the winner with a free kick. So this is a really disappointing way for Liverpool to lose the FA Cup. As Gini Wijnaldum said, they wanted to win this. They have never won the FA Cup uh, under Jurgen Klopp. And like I've said before, I will gladly settle for fourth place in the Premier League at this point because there is a crisis at Liverpool Football Club, but if there's anyone we can trust to help see Liverpool through these problems, it is the great Jurgen Klopp. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you've watched for this long, you might as well subscribe to my channel.